friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will teach you how to make radio buttons in MIT App Inventor. Radio buttons are those circular buttons that you normally see when you have to choose one response and that is why they are different from the squarish checkboxes as checkboxes are used to select more than one option. Checkboxes are available in the user interface components of MIT App Inventor. However, the radio button UI component that is user interface component is not available and it is an important component to have while designing a game setting screen where you have to choose game difficulty such as easy, medium or hard or in survey screens where the user has to choose one response and even in quizzes where you provide many choices for answers and user has to choose exactly one. We can also make the existing checkbox UI component available in the MIT App Inventor to act as radio buttons so that only one option can be selected. And I have shown already how you can do it in the multiple choice landmarks quiz app in a previous tutorial. The link is in the description. However, I thought that I should also show you how to make your own custom radio buttons that look like radio buttons too. But before I start, let me tell you a bit about my channel. Here I teach coding, mental maths, and mobile app development in a creative, detailed, and interesting way. So please subscribe to my channel if you like my work and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I have planned for you. Coming back to our Radio Buttons project, let's have a look at the demo. I have linked the Radio Buttons to a tiny DB so that our responses are saved in the database on the device Two, so you will also learn how to load and save settings in this tutorial. Let's begin, go to projects, start a new project, call it settings app because we are designing a settings screen for a game's difficulty level. Upload this nice gradient background that I got from freepick.com. Also upload these video button images an on image and an off image when it is turned off. Okay, the link for these images is in the video description. You can also download the AIA file for this project from my website to get the media that I'm using. For screen one, make a line horizontal center, make the background the image that I just uploaded Also make screen orientation portrait and change the title to settings. Drag and drop a label, make font bold, font size 22, make font typeface monospace, make the text difficulty colon and make the text color yellow. Now drag and drop from layout a horizontal arrangement below this label. Make the width 90%. Drag and drop a vertical arrangement within this horizontal arrangement. Drag and drop a button from user interface inside this vertical arrangement. Okay, rename this button to easy radio button. Make height and width 50 pixels. And the image is the radio on image. Okay, and remove the text on top of it. Duplicate this button by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V for Windows operating system and Command C, Command V for Mac OS. Rename to MED, which means medium for short radio button. And we are going to change the image to the radio off image because only one of them can be on at one time. So by default, the easy setting, difficulty setting for the game is on. Duplicate this medium radio button by selecting it. Command C, Command V for Mac OS, Control C, Control V for Windows, rename to Hard Radio Button, 
Now we need to add labels for these radio buttons. What do they mean? So this means easy, medium, hard. And we have to show it exactly aligned right next to these radio buttons. So for this, we are going to drag and drop a second vertical arrangement. Okay. So go to layout and drag and drop a vertical arrangement. Okay. Now we have to put a horizontal arrangement inside this ver vertical arrangement because we want the text to be centered inside that horizontal arrangement. So drag and drop a horizontal arrangement within this vertical arrangement and give it the height 50 pixels just like our radio buttons. Okay and also make a line horizontal center, a line vertical center. Now drag and drop a label. Okay so all this we are doing so that our screen looks good and aligned properly. Rename to Easy Radio LBL. Okay. Make font bold, font size 18, and font typeface is monospace. Make text easy. And the text color is a custom green color. So I have the code ready for it. Okay, now select this horizontal arrangement, not the label, but the horizontal arrangement and duplicate it. Okay, rename this to MED Radio LBL and change the text to medium. Again, duplicate, rename to hard radio label and the text is hard okay last but not the least drag and drop from storage a tiny db this is for storing our settings on the device now our screen design is done so let's go to the block section first of all we are going to make our global variables and we are going to make global variables for both our image file names these names radio on button and radio off button exactly the same as they have been uploaded in the media section so radio on image is equal to text that says exactly it's the same as the file name as it has been uploaded in the media so let me compare it again so this is radio on btn.png and this is correct. Now duplicate. Now this is an off image. So we are going to change it to the off button.png. Next we are going to make global variables for our different difficulty levels. Easy, medium, hard. So this is now easy level. LVL for short and we call it easy, duplicate, medium and hard. Next is the actual difficulty settings of the game that has been chosen by the user. So let's duplicate and this is the difficulty level and by default it's easy but we want it to be exactly the same as how the easy has been written here so it's better to duplicate it i don't know why my changes were not saved okay and last but not the least is our database tag for how it is saved in the db so this is difficulty tag we can give it a value game difficulty. Now, what are we doing here? The only variable that will be actually changing is the difficulty level. The rest of these are constants. And the reason why we have made variables, global variables for them is that we don't unintentionally introduce an error in the code 
by making a spelling mistake. So that is why we are using these variables and they are being used as constants. This is actually a programming term. That is, these are constants whose values do not change these two and these three and this one and this is the value that will be actually changed by the user okay and these are only for comparison or for storing in the database and this is to avoid spelling mistakes and that is why we have put them in these global variables when any of the radio buttons is clicked we first check if its image is equal to the off image only then we will change it to the on image and make the other radio buttons off. If it was already on and somebody clicked on it, then we do not have to have any effect because we want one radio button to be on all the time. Okay. So if I go to my easy radio button and get its click event, so go to control, get the if then block and here I'm going to check for equality, so get an equal to block from logic. And from here, here I want to see what is the image for the easy radio button. So if easy radio button dot image is equal to, now here you can see why I'm using constants because now I don't have to actually type it in. So if I hover over it, I can get the off image for it. Okay, only in this case, I'm going to set this easy radio button to an on image. Okay, so if I go to easy radio button, I can get the setter for the image and I'm going to set it to the on image. So if it was off, turn it on, set the difficulty level. So I get the setter for it, set the difficulty level to easy so I can hover over it and get the getter for it. So this is why we have these global variables. Next, we have to set all the other buttons to the off image. I can duplicate this one and choose hard from here and make it off. Again, duplicate, make it medium and medium is also off. So if the easy radio button is clicked and it was off, only then we will turn it on. We will turn the global difficulty level to easy and we will turn the remaining off. And last but not the least, we have to store this easy level difficulty chosen by the user in the TinyDB. So if I click on TinyDB and call it store value, now remember we have already stored the tag as a constant, so get it. And what is the value to store? The value to store is the difficulty level. Okay. So now I've stored the new setting, the difficulty setting inside the DB2. Now, just duplicate this block. Okay. And choose medium from here and now we have to be very careful because we have to make the required changes inside this click event so choose medium here medium here difficulty setting is now medium and we are going to turn the easy off now again duplicate choose hard radio button here Choose hard hair two, choose hard hair two. Difficulty setting is now hard. And this is medium. Last but not the least, remember that we are storing the user settings. So what if the user goes to another screen or closes the app and comes back again? We want that the game difficulty level that he chose before closing the app should be loaded too. So we do it in the screen initialize event. So get that. And inside here, first of all, we are going to set the global difficulty level.
to a call to TinyDB to get the value inside the DB for the tag. So get the tag, duplicate it from here. And value if not there is, by default, we want it to be easy. So I can duplicate this getter and choose easy level from here. Next is we are going to check the difficulty level and update the status, the images of the buttons, the radio buttons accordingly. So go to control and get this third block, if then else, if then else, and inside here from logic, get the equal to block and again, duplicate this because we want to see what is inside the difficulty level and duplicate this because we want to see in the first if condition whether it's equal to easy. So if it is equal to easy, that means our rate easy radio buttons image should be on. And the other radio buttons should be off. Okay, so easy on, hard off, medium off. Duplicate. Check if the difficulty level is medium. And in this case, we are going to turn the medium on and easy should be off and hard should be off too. And last but not the least is that the difficulty level is hard level. So we have to set hard to on and medium and easy to on off. Okay, so verify your code again to avoid any errors unintentionally introduced in the code and then you can check your app and it should work. This is done. You can use the radio buttons in quiz or survey screens besides this settings app. And I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and share with friends and family. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.